Hello folks and welcome to podcast number 86 from Kitchen Garden magazine. I'm here once again with our with our team, our editorial team, virtually of course, all at a safe distance, uh, all with a cup of tea, September maybe. Um, I've got one. <laughs> oh yeah, we've all got our cups of tea. We're all coming from the rain, we've got a shower of rain here at the moment, which is very welcome. Um, yeah. We thought we'd have a little chat about what we've been harvesting, about our runner bean competition, and anything else that uh, that comes to mind. So, what have you been doing, gang? Well, sheltering from the wind and the rain oh, yesterday, the wind, yeah, in terrible, particular. Wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did it do any damage? Down the no, I had a few no, apples off the tree. Yeah, which I, I should have picked earlier. A few. Um, Apples. Oh. <laughs> they're quite nice this year. It's me, me red nice. full staff. Yeah, they're all right. They're good. But uh, oh, and pears. Got me pears. I'm really showing off today, aren't I? <laughs> oh, look at that. Good year for oh. the pears. <clears throat> but yeah, so they fell off the Emma, floor. He did, Emma, he didn't tell us to bring anything along, did he? No. He just, well, just did it all so on his much, own. I don't know what I choose. <laughs> well, you've got—I I believe you've got a runner bean. Yeah, oh, well, yeah. well, no, you see, I, I, the, the runner bean competition, like I, I have said to you guys before, was a was a was a one hit wonder. I had one bean on my whole load of <laughs> runner beans. Um, the, the hot weather stopped them fruiting, and then then they seem to got—I think they might have sort of like a red spider mite on them. They've gone yeah. all, all the leaves have gone yellow. So the one bean that I produced that actually was a hefty bean. Was it a bean? Yeah, it's no more. Bean. I didn't even eat it. So oh. it, was, it was a waste of time. <laughs> they they get a bit course, tough. They get a bit Tony, stringy. Tony, of course, we must say that Tony won the run of He did. Easily, only actually. By, only by a short stalk, really, wasn't it? <laughs> well, he told I us it was easily. I think I was just a couple of centimetres more, wasn't I? Well, he was, yeah. 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 It was well, close. I mean, we couldn't allow the first effort where you'd sell a three beans together. Yeah, I didn't. It was super glue. <laughs> oh, super glue. <laughs> so how long was it? Where, this is, this is I didn't think I anybody did. had noticed. <laughs> the joints are so subtle. This is why I did. So, this is why I did so well. Was because my beans all failed to produce beans, and they're all suffering. And one little bean survived and hung on, and so everything was pumped into that one bean, and yeah. and it just grew and grew and grew. Yeah. What a shame you couldn't! What a shame you couldn't eat it in the end. You didn't eat well, it. Well, it was it's a stringy. little bit. It was a bit stringy, it was a bit, actually. Yeah, I, I have had some good, good um, dwarf beans. So I've had some mm. beans, but not not off the Guinness. No. So you're fruiting well still. Uh, they're starting to fade in a bit now, but uh, I've had some of a decent crop. They're very long, aren't they? Oh they yeah, I get long. a bit confused. I don't know when you're supposed to pick them. I, I don't know whether to leave them until they get that long. Yours was, how long was yours, Tony? Good 16, 17, 18? No, that's just me, that's just me, 19, 19. No, was it? 19. No way. It was. <laughs> 19, I think mine was 18. Honest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mine was 16. I failed miserably, I did. That was hopeless. No, I had to let you win. I mean, having won all the competitions in previous years, I had to let you win. They tasted quite nice, and I say, you, you know, they were quite long and not too gnarled at the end. If you know, if you picked them, even though they were long. Yeah. So but, you, uh, did you some eat the prize winner? Mm, yeah. Uh, do you know what? I don't think I did. Oh. Don't think I had, had it one. stuffed. <laughs> 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 it's embalmed. Had it it's mounted on, wall, on a special frame, frame. frame on the wall. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Gardeners mm. like fishermen, you know, fishermen, and they say, oh, the fish was this big, and then it was this big, and this big. And Tony's the same with his bean, I think. <laughs> <laughs> it, was a bit of good, it was a good bit of fun, anyway. We enjoyed it. You yeah, good. Of course. Yeah. Don't know what we're going to do next year. <laughs> <laughs> what are we going to do next year? Oh, next year, gosh. Oh. Got to be something I, I can don't. grow. I was going to I say garlic, think. but I can't grow garlic either. So, <laughs> oh, next year seems a long way away now. It does doesn't already. It? So, what else, what else? What else? What else have you been harvesting then? Oh, tomatoes. Loads of tomatoes. 
Oh, so many tomatoes. It's a good year for the tomatoes. Excellent year for tomatoes. Me, great big ones. Look, I've had me, me what, super what, mum. Um, oh, yeah, that's lovely. That that's is. amazing. What is it? That is a, Which variety? Super mama. Super mama. Super mama. Yeah. I don't know how much oh, it weighs. I should have weighed one. it, shouldn't I? And it I've tried the, a few of the others, you know, the honey, what was it, honeycomb? Honeycomb, honey yeah. One. And Riesling, that's lovely. Oh, Riesling. That's a lovely yeah. cherry. Really tasty, that one. Oh, and the, the yellow Mimi that you Mimi. grew in. Oh, yes, yeah. I've got some of those. They're nice. Nice flavour. Yeah, I've got yeah. some of them. They're sweet, aren't they? They're lovely. Yeah. Yeah, don't usually and like quite, yellow um, toms, but I like that one. Yeah, yeah, it's a good one. Hmm. Um, I've grown some sweet corn, but I think I've had a bit of mm, mm, done a little bit of boo boo with it. Oh, because uh, the first one I, I ate and it didn't taste very sweet. Oh, and I'm just worried now, and I picked most of them now. I'm just worried and frozen them. I'm just worried in case they're overripe. I was checking oh, them, but I wonder if I just let them go a bit too far. It's I've never done that tough. before. No, no. Never done that before. Ever. I always no. had quite nice sweet corn. So yeah, I've got a freezer, freezer full of sweet corn. I'm just worried now in case they're all going to taste fairly <laughs> bland. <laughs> but it, but up to that one. point, they were doing well. Yeah, yeah. We well, always do well with your sweet corn. Yeah. Well, you've been growing some, haven't you, Steve? I grew my that, Fair um, Lady? My Fair Lady, yeah, an F F1. Never grown it before. I think it was organic gardening catalogue. Um, but that's really nice. Yeah, I've only had a few. Yeah. I only picked the first ones last night. They're sort of bicoloured, you know, they've got the cream and yellow kernels. Very yeah, sweet. Sort of oh, not not Very too sweet. Some of the super yeah. sweets, a bit too sweet, aren't they? Yeah, they are for me. I definitely. find anyway. Yeah, that yeah, no, was very, very nice. Recommend that one. But I did grow it in the, I made a bit of a mistake. I <laughs> made a boo-boo like you, I think, Tony, because I grew, I always grow some in the polytunnel. Mm. Um, and I grew them in the polytunnel. And I think because of the really hot weather we had, the, the male flowers came out first and there wasn't enough pollen to pollinate them. Uh -huh. yeah. They'd all, they'd all, they were all over before the tassels at the bottom came out. And, um, it was all a bit patchy, a, patchy, bit patchy kernels. Patchy. Mm. Yeah, yeah. But that was that was my mistake. It worked worked well the year before, but um, it was just too hot this year, I think. Yeah. Courgettes, uh, nice courgettes. Yeah. <laughs> courgettes gone crazy. Going that, um, That's uh, that. Ro the Romanesco. Oh, Romanesco, oh, yeah. like the stripy, sort of almost ribbed one, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I think they're really nice flavour. Are they? Are they quite good. different? Yeah, not, they're not seedy and or um, watery. You know, they're quite firm inside, like mm. those. Mm. And uh, some have got a bit too big, so we've got I've got a spiralizer now, so we keep making oh. courgette. Oh, nice courgette mm. spaghetti! It's really nice. Good for the waistline as well. I got a bit put off this year when it went with the courgettes when there was there was those those bad bad batch that caused the oh yeah yeah the bad stomach I mean it wasn't obviously it was very very rare and there weren't many well that were mm. infected but now every time I eat a courgette now I have to taste it first before I actually yeah. cook it <laughs> yeah, yeah. The, there was something on the news even about it last week somebody in Yorkshire had been ill or his wife had because he did eaten the courgettes like that. Yeah, um, and uh, they were just saying that you know maybe you should just just taste it first or lick I it just or whatever. Nibble the end, yeah. I just, just nibble, nibble the, the end, end to make sure it's not bitter. Yeah, mm. yeah. I mean, they've got a little yeah. bit of a bitter tang anyway, haven't they? But if it's really bitter, yeah. then you just don't yeah. you know that it's okay. a bad bad plant. Yeah. But I've never yeah. come across that before, have you? I mean, all the courgettes no. I've grown no. in my life, I've never yeah. had, a, had a bad one ever. No, in fact, I've yeah. grown them out of the compost heap. You know, sometimes you throw a cool mm. <laughs> throw a cool jet in the compost, and then you put the compost out, and they all pop up all over the place in in the polytunnel anyway. And um, mm. I've often let them grow on, and they've been been fine. But I should be more careful, I guess. Yeah, because they might have cross pollinated, mightn't they, and got mm. the same problem. But I've always been fine in the past. But, um, oh, my black, my blackberries! I had a lovely crop of um, blackberries this year, and they all got sunburn. Yeah, they all went oh. pink. Can you taste them? Can, do they? Are they? You can't taste. They're, they're not um, 
edible then after no, that. No, they were horrible. Yeah, all sort of rubbery. Yeah. Really oh. nasty. They've got any later same. ones? Any later ones coming now? Because there's still a lot out in the hedgerows, aren't there? It must have been mm. quite an yeah. early fruiter. Mm. Oh, it was. Yeah, we were eating them end of July, early August. That's yeah, it was, it was ridiculous. Yeah, and we just had that really hot. Had a few days where it, it touched thirty, didn't it? And um, yeah, yeah, they just just went. But yeah, after that, they were all right. The ones that were after that were quite nice. Mm. But um, mm. yeah, I thought I'd got that new fruit fly thing on them at first when they all went went strange. But I think it was mm. just the heat. It wasn't any wasn't no. any creepy crawlies in there. I think quite a few people had it looking because you put it on Facebook, didn't you, Stephen? I think there were quite yeah, a few people yeah. said that had similar that 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 period. Yeah, yeah. it's a bit of a relief, really. Sort of confirm what it was, and um, you know, I didn't have to because they're only a couple of years old. I didn't have to rip them out and start again. Lovely, lovely plants are growing well. But uh, oh, my potatoes are rubbish this year. They're full of slugs. Ah. Right. Not very good at all. Yeah, I've had a good, I've had a good crop of potatoes this year. Mm. Oh, have you? Yeah, they've done really well, and I've grown um, that um, pink fir apple. This oh year yeah, as well. oh, I like that one. Very yeah. nice, very nice flavour. Mm. A bit of a pain mm. when you come to clean them up, though, for the pot. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, weird shapes, aren't they? Sort of end up chopping <laughs> off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah I don't know. Why. I've not had the slug problem before, but yeah, full of holes. But the ones in bags are all right. I did grow some in bags. And were, they fine. Met, were they uh, second earlys or something, or what were they? They were. Uh, what were they now? They were rocket, I think, because right. it was the only bag I could get. We all went into lockdown before I bought my spuds. Oh, so yeah. I just had the last bag on the shelf with six-inch long shoots on them. So I'd, I never had very high hopes. <laughs> um, I nearly threw them away, to be honest. But they did, they produced some nice big tubers, but um, yeah, mm. a lot of them had slug holes in them. The trouble is, I'm too mean. I was going to buy some nematodes. Well, mm. I had the same problem on the, with some of the carrots. So I thought, oh, I'll get some nematodes and put those on. And then I never did. Yeah. I shall have to I, invest I, in some next year. Mm. I, we, I use the nematodes this year. It, it makes a big difference. Mm. Yeah. I mean, it, but it literally, we don't see any slug damage for six weeks. Um, it, you know, all the seedlings grow. Before, mm. if I didn't put the stuff on, they'd eat everything. And, and yeah. it, just, it, just, it really, really does work. And they say after six weeks, you have to apply it again. Mm. But normally in a veg garden, you kind of get away with it a bit because most stuff's mm. sort of a bit more advanced, isn't it, by then? Um, yeah. But I, it was just starting to see a little bit more damage, a bit of damage coming in now. Mm. But I honestly, I'd recommend it if anybody has that problem. It's mm. such a such. It's a really good idea to put it on. Well, I think a couple of years ago was it your your patch was full of them, wasn't it? Absolutely. Your I, mean, I, had, I think I had two years, but, and certainly mm. one year I couldn't grow anything mm. at all. I mean, literally no. everything was completely obliterated. It was mm. so demoralising. Mm. And the yeah. following year, I mean, all right, there may have been a natural reduction of slugs, but but I, I applied the stuff. And mm. not nothing, nothing was eaten. It, mm. it was miraculous. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they must build up, mustn't they? I guess where you're growing things year after year, even if you Probably. rotate your crops, you're going to yeah. have problems yeah. eventually. So that's a good way of clearing them, isn't it? Yeah, mm. it's good. So I don't like to use pellets if I can help it. I use the pet-friendly ones occasionally, but um, mm. you know, mm. usually if I've got something covered up, so that the birds and the pets I mean I've got a dog so I've got to be careful anyway but um, yeah. yeah nematodes you just don't see anything do you I think they even die yeah. underground don't they the slugs yeah. you don't, you don't see them at all no sign of them no yeah and it's yeah. a natural naturally natural product isn't it it's naturally you know na the nematodes are in the soil anyway but you're obviously putting them on in a, mm. in a very high concentration mm. yeah yeah how are your peppers doing Tony mine are ever so late uh, they'd start. Some of them are starting to turn now, but um, I'd have expected yeah. them to go turn a bit, a bit, um, a bit sooner. I've been growing yeah. some um, cardinal, which I sort of bought really because they've got the nice purple. They start off purple. They're quite attractive to look at, and uh, they've been really productive. There's loads on there, but they're just taking a while to turn. 
it's eventually turned red. But uh, yeah, a bit slow, really. I was expecting a, a, bit few slow. More, a few more red ones by now. But uh, yeah, yeah they're otherwise okay. So the chilli peppers are a bit slow as well. Mm. So I, I always get a bit they... impatient with them, though. <laughs> yeah. This time of year, start looking at them. And... Come September, Oops. they'll be... Uh, they'll yeah, be, yeah, still early, dangerous. really, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Um, but we had that very hot year, didn't we? It was, you know, and they, everything kind of came on very quite early with, with peppers and chilies. And it was very hot mm -hmm. the year before last. Yeah. But yeah. yeah, I had some good good onion. Well, I had a mixed bag of, of onions this year. I had some um, autumn champion, which were really lovely. Oh. You know, big and uh, and a lovely colour. Um, but the electric ones, the red ones that I grew, a lot of those turned um, start to bolt really. Mm. So they were a little bit disappointing, but um, Autumn Champion, I'd, I'd recommend those to anyone if they ever think of putting some Autumn ones in. Yeah, I was talking to someone the other day and they were saying that they hadn't realised that um, um, onion sets could bolt. Um, but, you know, doing a bit of research, you, you realise that they're not all heat treated. Some no, of them are heat treated, aren't they, to kill the flower? In the middle of the bowl mm -hmm. and not all of them are and um yeah. a lot of them a lot of them do bowl i mm. wonder if you're sometimes safe for sowing them from seed although it, it's a mm. bit more of a job takes a lot longer doesn't it and yeah yeah um, might, might try some some of each next year try and hedge my bets oh, see what, see what happens. yeah yeah mm. yeah bit of an experiment with them yeah so are you sowing anything anything else do you think soon i've, I've just put some Put some leeks in, but I cheated. I bought some plants because I didn't. They didn't get round to to sowing any. Mm. So I managed to find some on the market. <laughs> really? Local market. Right. They're lovely plants. Yeah, really cheap. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. So um, yeah, I got some of those and put them in. I've covered them up though because I had terrible problems with leek moth last year. So um, they're under under fleece. I think your garden must attract all these things. You know, you got slugs. I think it does. Yeah, I'm starting to wonder. So I'm listening to myself here. I'm wondering if I ever actually get any how I ever get anything to eat. <laughs> but um, seem to <laughs> seem to manage it. <laughs> well, those apples and pears you showed us earlier look good. Yeah, no problem with those. They are good actually. Yeah, I didn't get any. Um, norm <laughs> normally do. <laughs> normally get a bit of codling moth in the apples, but they've, they've been fine this year. Been using the moth traps. That helps a bit. Yeah. But it just doesn't seem to have been quite as bad this year. For some reason, I don't know. Maybe they didn't like the heat either. But um, the only thing with the pears is I have to keep the dog away. He's absolutely mad for pears. He sit uh, sit underneath the tree and wait for one to fall off. <laughs> <laughs> Mind you, I think Ted eats anything, doesn't he, Steve? More or less, yeah, yeah, he does. Yeah, more <laughs> typical Labrador. Yeah, uh, an eating machine. <laughs> I heard on the news today that uh, the Labradors were the the dog most mentioned in social media during lockdown. Oh, really? Followed by the Cocker Spaniels. Just to stay oh. a sort of um, <laughs> useless piece of information. Yes. Well, <laughs> well, if I ever have any gluts of anything, you can be sure I've, I've always got someone to eat them. He'll, uh, he'll always finish things up. Mm. Yeah. Only thing he won't eat is celery. <laughs> really? That is literally yeah. the only thing I've ever known him not to eat. Yeah. Gosh. That's strange. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh well. Oh, it's lovely to chat, guys. Yeah, yeah. really nice. nice to speak. Yeah. Nice up. to see. Yeah. <laughs> Don't get much of a chance to catch up these days, do we? We're working apart, but um, mm. it's always nice to get together and swap some gardening stories. I've, I've just about got over the fact that I didn't win the runner bean, but. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, oh we'll have There's always next, year. next year. Always yeah. next year, yeah, yeah. Perhaps we should try carrots or something. I, I fancy. Yeah, we should. We should carrots. Some carrots. Yeah, yeah. carrots. Yeah. We're rubbish <laughs> this year, so you easy win that one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get me barrel of sand all, all worked out, all uh, all ready. <laughs> okay, uh, folks. Well, right, I hope then. you've enjoyed uh, listening to us. Um, if you've got any gardening stories to tell us, then please do do let us know. Email us or um, visit our Facebook page or uh, Twitter. Um, and don't forget, we've got some great subscription offers. If you go to www.classicmagazines.co.uk, 
um, you can uh, find out uh, what all the best latest offers are for a subscription on the magazine. And of course you get free seeds every month. So it's uh, well worth a look. So um, yeah, we'll see you again soon. Bye. 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 If you've enjoyed this video, press the like button and also give us a comment. Let us know what you're doing in the garden at the moment. And if you like our videos generally, it'd be really great if you'd subscribe to our YouTube channel.